Hi everyone. Welcome to Lucky Punch. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Ladies and gentlemen from the Armory here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Warriors Boxing. Baby-faced assassin, Danny Roman. Cool boy, Steph. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. But he did not show any signs of wilting. In fact, it seemed to make him fight harder. You know that Danny Roman is going to look the bell in round one. And I'm going to say for the record, I've looked everything other than a jab. That's an excellent stat for both men. And there's a lightning quick in his boxing here in round one, utilizing the jab from long range, the ver range that he really wants to fight a guy like Fulton. But Fulton's speed and combination. So I'm going to take a round to figure out Fulton, oh. and then I'm going to get going. So we'll see if, if session in their gym in Philadelphia. I mean, that stick is really everything in the sport. And they're paramount as they come in boxing. And we saw some of that fluid footwork on display from Fulton. Work his way inside and let his hands go a little bit more. Different posture. You see. Yeah, he's finding really uh, nice. difficult to get in. But well, he got punches Roman normally lands out to the body. And there's another left. Tough in position to throw that uppercut. But he has to be on the inside if he's going to do that. So Roman beginning to close this. the jab. A lot of fainting between the two fighters and Fulton able to. Uh, that was early on in that round. And later on, the right hand would be there. A 70 punches round. He's, he's throwing about 45 so far. Also, Fulton's. Nice counter jab by Roman. There's a lead right, chopping right hand that scored. Come in without head movement, and the right hand will get in. So what he'd really agree so far in this fight out. Yeah, and we've seen that part of the nice right hand. It has in the past with like a figure roll because he, oh, that's the type oh, of pressure that Ramon has to put. Later on, Ramon got him in the in the corner there against the ropes, and he was Fulton. Yeah, the issue is can he stay there and not get countered? But he's going to have to try distance and try to break down Fulton, and there popped the jab, lead left hook. Doesn't follow up with the right, and there's Ramon going to the body. His, his bearings, uh, but he needs to get back to where he was aggressive in anything. Now, that goes for Ramon. Ramon should be doing the same thing. He, Fulton is choosing to box. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Speaking beautiful. Speaking of boxing, one-two combo. The right hand. And it, it's been a lead right a lot, but in this case, it was it came after success against a former champ in Ramon. And he sets up all over again. Little that's that's the thing left. that is not working for Ramon. You gotta, you gotta. There, Ramon. This is where Ramon would like to make as skillful as they come. As technical, perfect venue for fighting. It is not giving him any any position, any time to come back with anything. Oh. Win him the round is a question, but he's definitely getting a lot more depth. Oh, another chop. Fulton with that right hand, that clubbing right hand that made him kind of turn around. Good combo from Danny Roman. And Roman goes to the body. We are at the midpoint of this championship fight. Roman trying to. And what he's able to have accomplished already here tonight, Fulton. But let's find out who's in front on Stephen Farhood's unofficial score. An adjustment that is necessary because two guys who are known for making adjustments. His uh, boxing ability. Well, Roman trying to come back here now. What happened? He took a step back and he reset. Oh, and he just got counter. Changing lefty, as Morrow pointed out, for momentarily, which he can do. Seen Fulton crack. We showed a one-punch power policy. Well, Danny Roman's trainer break down his opponent with precision and timing, and especially with the attack to the body. And he says it's as we see the, the scorecard. Uh, well, the end last. Dad was in jail, but by age 15, he had five friends who'd been killed, and then on, but. How long is the question? Roman loading up and gets oh. countered again. There's a nice left hand by Fulton. But one more time. And look what Fulton is doing now. He's standing right in the center of the ring. Put Roman's gone eight rounds or longer. Wow. His last 11 fights has been the use of the right hand by Fulton. And uh, frequently it's following the jab. And you up in your own game plan. And that's what he's doing against Roman boxing. And Roman. You know, tries to move forward there, three punch. And later in the round, we'll see that right hand get in again against Danny Roman. 
Yeah. Look at the speech that he's using. He's changing the speech. Faulty. We are set for round number 10. To make happen, he threw a really nice combination, got one of the punches in. But again, Roman coming off a 13-month layoff, the age of 32, longest of his, with the left and the right to the body and upstairs. And yes, Danny Roman. On division may be short. He may be going up to 126. If he goes in, appreciating the skills and the talents of Stephen Fulton, while also appreciating. All right, this is it. The championship rounds and they. But Figueroa proved that, you know, it is and it isn't. But again, both. Uh, to know he's ahead on the scorecards, has to know that. This is really his fight to lose, and, and now Stephen Fulton beginning to sit down on his punches, and Danny Round for Stephen Fulton Jr. as he, he... Bringing out the championship medal of both Stephen Fulton. The left hook, which we talked about in the keys, show... Oh, solid left hand. Hey, it would have been, if I would have fought, this guy would have been tough, man. <laughs> this guy's a tough cookie, hey, man. You the fighter in the laboratory, and again, I know... You, you, the, the, the proof is it's to it to you, double right hand. Roman eats the left, trying to just find pound for pound one of the best after this performance tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision here. The score totals all three in favor of the winner and still the undefeated, unified WBC and WBO 100.